Good morning, good morning, everyone. I am just going to quick check and make sure that you guys can hear me. Yep, we are good to go. All right, bright and early this morning, you guys. I wanted to hop in here and give you some encouragement. We always hear about putting yourself out there, standing out in the crowd, pushing through the noise, things like that. Um, we hear about pay to play. We hear about doing things for free. Um, and I really wanted to give you guys the opportunity to learn a quick, easy, cost-effective way to stand out in the crowd. So one thing that I have been working on getting better myself over the past few years is videos. Um, so you see me go live a lot now. The other thing that I'm working on in my videos is creating short snippet videos that um, give a sense and a feel for what my brand is, what I do, who I am, those kind of things. And um, so I create those in a couple of different platforms. But what I want to talk to you guys today is about one of the platforms that you all know I love, which is Pinterest. I want to help you figure out how to not only advertise on Pinterest for mere pennies, but how to use an autoplay video in your Pinterest ads. So if you can do me a favor and you are watching this live or replay, let me know one yes, I use Pinterest, or two, no, I haven't quite gotten into Pinterest yet. So one, yes, you are on Pinterest. Two, not so much yet, but maybe you can convince me. Type those in the comments below and let me know who we've got here and what type of Pinterest user you are. All right, so one of the things that I've been looking into is I've done Facebook advertising. I'm getting really good ROI on my Facebook advertising. Um, I'm getting leads daily, but I wanted to learn how to advertise on Pinterest better. The platforms are very similar. I do know how to do keyword research. So I've been really diving into how can I advertise better on Pinterest? How can I get the same type of ROI that I'm getting on Facebook on a platform that I love? So I found some trainings on autoplay video pins. So when you're scrolling through your feed and you see that video, it could be three seconds, it could be five seconds. One of them that stood out to me was when you're scrolling through and there's this app that they want you to download and it's showing you how you can completely change the layout of a bedroom or a living room and they just like they show the living room and all of a sudden they swipe to the side in the video and it's like this gorgeous dream living room. So it's like five seconds long but that's one that brought up memories for me. I remember that. I don't remember the brand, unfortunately, right now, but I do remember that pin. So um, I wanted to do something like that. So I looked into it, and one of the questions you guys asked me when I was looking at this um, on how to create promoted video pins that autoplay, not just video pins, but ones that autoplay for you, is why would you promote video pins on Pinterest? Um, and so I did a little research and digging, and according to Pinterest's own calculations, the platform itself noted that it saw a 60% increase in video pins from 2015 to 2016. And that increased even further last year in 2017. So suggesting this is going to suggest to us and kind of confirm for me that people like to see video pins. They're not bothered by it. They're not discouraged by it. They actually preferred it over a regular pin. 
So, um, video like we know on Facebook is going to stand out more in your user feeds, which helps give you that edge over your competition. So, while Facebook has a larger and more diverse audience on the platform, Pinterest has an audience that's actively using the platform to browse, save ideas, save products, and purchase. They go to Pinterest to consume that information, to purchase that information, and a lot of people are using Pinterest as a tool to research their buying decisions before they actually make them. So, if you are like me, you're going to want to stand out in the crowd and use that video to pop up in their searches when they're searching for that um, product that buy, the courses that you offer, the um, help that they need to overcome a problem they're having in their business, anything that you can do to help them, they're going to be right there consuming that information that you provide to them. So, creating a promoted video print is actually very, very simple. The hard part for me, like I said in the beginning of this video, is creating that video. Um, and I'm getting better at it, but I am a talker, and I like to now talk to you guys rather than create a 10-second snippet of who I am. So that is kind of what you need to do. So you can create a slideshow without your face. You can create it um, with just um, like graphics that you created. You could do your face where you have a maybe it's two second script, um, but some things to keep in mind are the Pinterest technical requirements for the video. So one, it does need to be an MP4 or M or dot move file. Um, it has to be a minimum of 240 pixels. The size has to be under two gigabytes and they request that your video is under 30 minutes. Now, that is the size requirement, so you can upload, like I could download and upload this live stream um, because it'll be under 30 minutes, but they recommend keeping it between 15 and 30 seconds because that's the square amount of time that you get to capture that individual's attention. And if you've captured that and they click through, then you can take them down that funnel journey of where you want them to go. Um, they also recommend the aspect ratios are one for one, so it's a square formatting or a nine by 16, that vertical pin formatting. So. If you want to upload a new video pin, all you got to do is click the plus button at the top of the page, select upload video from the download menu, and make sure to choose a very strong appealing thumbnail. And then as we all know for Pinterest, you're going to add that description with chock full of information and your keywords, and then add the link to the site where you want to send the traffic again down that funnel journey. Once you've added those details, you can go and create your campaign. Like I said, this is the easy step, you guys. This is the fun part. Once you've uploaded that video and you want to promote it, you are ready to start an ad to it. You can do a little budget. You can go big. It doesn't matter. But what you do is you click on ads at the top of the screen. You select the video that you just uploaded, and then you're going to select video awareness campaigns. On that page, they're going to give you an option to choose build brand awareness through video objective and that's what you're going to want to choose here you're going to name your campaign you're going to add your daily or lifetime cap on spending so you could add a dollar a day or you could say i only want this video to run for ten dollars however long that lasts is however long the video goes and then you're going to click add more details 
Now you'll flesh out your ad group. That's with those keywords um, and targeting that you're used to on Facebook. If you're not used to it, you may be used to it on Pinterest for um, your descriptions and pins. Um, but I do have a video on YouTube that helps you kind of flesh out keywords that you can search for when you're going through that ad group. So for those more familiar with Facebook ads, Pinterest ad groups is going to work a lot like ad sets. It's just one tier in the ad campaign hierarchy falling under a campaign. So you're going to name the ad group, you're going to set the ad group budget, that is required, and then you can start, um, select the start and end dates for your campaign and or you can have it, like I said, choose to run continuously until the money runs out. Once you are done with that, you'll set up the targeting criteria. You will be able to create a custom audience just like Facebook ads. Um, you can do it based on site activity, Pinterest engagement, or a list of your email customers. You can use interest targeting and or select those keywords that we talked about earlier. At a minimum, you want to choose plenty of keywords if you don't do any of the other targeting um, that they allow you to do because that will help you show up in the right searches where people are going to further um, along, go further along in that buying funnel journey um, if you are focusing on getting them to purchase, um, if you're focusing to get them as a lead or whatever funnel you want them to go through, make sure those keywords are telling that story for you so that you can help them understand what they're going to be seeing and show up with that right target audience. When you do type in a keyword, Pinterest is going to automatically suggest similar keywords for you to those that you're searching. So get creative. Use both very specific keywords and general keywords. Um, then when you're done with your targeting, you get to choose locations, language, and genders, and then set that maximum bid per 1,000 video views because a video view campaign are going to be charged on impressions. Um, so your bid needs to be based on that. When you're finished, you click pick a pin. You'll be able to then select that video pin that you uploaded and add a name um, and destination URL. Once you do this, you're done. Your ad is ready to go. Just submit it. They do have to approve it just like Facebook ads, but you can wait just for a few minutes. Tends to be pretty quick. Um, and then you will be on your way to standing out in the crowd of business on Pinterest. So just three quick best practice takeaways for your promoted video pins. One, you want to create videos that appeal to your audience. So when you're creating video, show content that users want to see first and then introduce the rest. It's kind of like what you've heard on Instagram, like ask your questions first or say that cliffhanger sentence first and then go into explaining the rest of it. You need to capture their attention. It's the same on video for Pinterest. You get that five seconds window, three to five second window to capture their attention. So make sure that's right there prominently for them. The second thing I want to tell you guys is use the feature benefit selling. So if you want to aggressively sell your product, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with doing that in promoted pins, you want to focus on feature benefit selling. So list a feature, tell them what they're going to get out of this, and then explain how it directly benefits the customer. With this, you are going to convey not only the solution that your product provides, but also you're going to explain how to do so. And then third, showcase your quality. When creating video ads, remember that a ton of people are on Pinterest and a ton of people are coming to Pinterest to research buying decisions. If you're able to demonstrate superior quality 
to your competitors, your campaign is more than likely to generate the results down that funnel that you're looking for. For instance, if your promoted pin takes informed viewers three days and more than 150 sets to um, purchase a single pair of shoes, um, then it's probably not the best way for you to go about it. Um, it, it, um, if, if it's, try to think of another idea for you guys. So if, if you have something that's like, okay, it takes, you're making a product and it takes me a full day and over, um, 500 fingers to make one shirt of affirmations. And that's kind of cool to hear because it takes them down that journey of how you're making that product. So you would want to make sure that that stands out in a certain way. So just think about how people are going to be seeing your um, campaign and then focus on showcasing the quality if it is a product or a quality if it is a course or maybe a service. Like showcase why they care and how much love and care and support you pour into that with your heart and soul. That's going to resonate with them. So that's my three tips for when you're creating the video. Um, Pinterest's promoted video pins give you one of the biggest advantages. Um, you'll start to see mine more as you see the autoplay feature go through. Um, it visually jumps out at people. It makes them stop that scroll, which we're all trying to do. And um, it's an excellent format to build brand awareness. So if you guys had any questions, definitely type them in the comments below. Maybe you're trying to create a video and you wanted just a second opinion on it. Share it to me in a message. I'd love to help give you my feedback um, as someone just looking at it and where you're trying to go in that direction. And then I'd love to know um, if you use promoted video pins for your business, what results have you seen and which strategy um, do you love? If you don't yet, let me know what strategy are you most excited to try that we talked about today. All right, guys, thank you so much for being here with me this morning, and I will catch you guys later. Bye-bye.